Now to send an email, we're going to be using a third party service and I've chosen to use Mailgun. This is what we use on CoCourse and the other thing I like about this is every month you get 10,000 free emails and there is no credit card required. So it's a really nice way to just get started with a reliable way to send emails. Now we do have a course on setting up Mailgun, but what we're going to be looking at is the very basics of this. You don't really need to add a domain. I'm going to be using the destructy.com domain, but you can use the sandbox domain if you want. And I'll talk more about that when we're getting set up. So go ahead and sign up for Mailgun. And once you have signed up, you should see something like this. So if you head over to your dashboard under your domain section, this is your sandbox domain that you can test with. And there's a couple of bits of information here that we're going to be grabbing out. So for example, the API key that we use to access the API to be able to send the email. And to complement this, we're going to be using the SDK for PHP from Mailgun. Now this is an extremely easy way to just implement and send emails and get them delivered reliably. So once you've signed up for Mailgun and you have your sandbox domain here, this is your domain and this is your API key. These are the only two pieces of information we need to actually send mail. So we're obviously going to be attaching this dependency on our container. So from within our route, just about here, we can send the email off. But before we do that, we need to actually install the Mailgun library. So let's head over to the GitHub page. You can come over to this as well. And if we scroll down, you can see that we can require this package in uh, at this, this particular version as well. So let's just copy this part. Let's head over to our terminal again and let's composer require this in. Hit enter and wait for that to download. So now that's downloaded, we can take it, pull it into our container, and then we can use it from within our application. So down here, we're going to say container mail, and we're just going to repeat exactly what we've done for all of our other dependencies, which we're putting into the container. And we also want config for this. So we're going to be updating our config, and we're going to be adding our mailgun configuration just in here as well. So let's just define this out first of all. To create a new instance, we just create a new mailgun mail gun instance. And inside of here, we need to pass in our secret. So this will go in here like that, but let's just go and set this up in our config now. So down here, I'm gonna create a new key called services. And within this, I'm going to create a key mailgun. And there's two things we need, like I said, the domain and our secret. So if we head back over to Mailgun, we can use the sandbox domain if, we, if you want. I'm not going to be, I'm gonna be using my domain I've set up. And the video we have over on the CoCourse library does actually teach you how to set up a domain if you want to do this. So this is my domain name. So I can pop this in here. And here is my API secret. So I can pop that in there. So we now have services mailgun domain and services mailgun secret that we can access. So over in bootstrap then, in here we just say c config get services mailgun secret and we should be ready to go and start sending emails with this. So now that all that's left to do is update our code here to actually send the email. However, what we need is a view to be able to send this off. So we're gonna be pulling in this view and we're going to be passing some data through to it. So for example, the hash, we can then build up the URL, which we're not gonna be doing just yet because we don't have a route to be able to view the message. And once we send the email, that view will be pulled in, it will be rendered and then it will be sent off to the mail client. So let's start to just define this out then. We'd say this mail, because that's the name we gave it under the container, and then send message, which is a method on the mailgun SDK. There are two arguments here, our domain and then an array of options. 
So let's just tackle this domain first of all. This comes from our config. So we just say this config get services.mailgun.domain. And in here, we need to say who it's from, who it's to, the subject, and the HTML body. So from, we can just say no reply at destructy.com. To, it's obviously the email address that we supply here. And we know that we can get that from params that we've pulled in. So all we do is say params email. And the subject can be anything you want but we'll say new message from Destructy. And the HTML body is going to be a view. For now, let's set this to an empty string so we can set up our view. So inside of our views directory, let's create a new folder called email. And again, this might seem overkill, but it's keeping everything nice and separate. Otherwise, you'd have to have a long string of data in here saying hello x blah 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 and it just makes everything a lot messier if we have a view we can just easily come over to this view and update it so let's create a new file in email and we'll call this message.twig and inside here let's just put what we'd want to see in the email so you have a new self destructing message from destructy this is going to be our URL just here and then here we can just say thanks destructy so at this point we just want to test if this sends and then when we start displaying our message we can use the root uh, helper to actually pull in the full path for the root to actually view the URL. So over inside of our roots file then, we need to basically render this view, which is gonna be passed into Mailgun, sent off to their API, and then delivered to the person that it's intended for. And to do this, we do a similar thing that we did with this view render, but we don't actually want to render the view, we want to just fetch the contents of it. So we say this view, fetch and then we choose the path to the view it's email slash message dot twig and we also want to pass in the hash as well so in here we pass this in as an array that will be passed through to the view and we can use that hash value we generated within that so what we could do is actually just output this in here just so we know that it's coming through in our email and then eventually we'll be using this in the url builder so now all that's left to do is actually test this works. So I have my mail client open. If we head over here and enter my email address and just write a message in there and hit send. There we go. That looks like it's sent. If we come over to my mail client, there we go. So we've got a new message from Destructy. We get the body that we wanted to see. We have the URL and we also have that hash as well. So really that is the difficult part. All that we need to do now is build up the ability to view a message. We know that identified by the hash, so we can pass this through to the URL builder. And then that will give the user that's received the message the URL that they can click on, and it will be looked up in the database and then eventually deleted. So let's get rid of these for now because we don't really need them. And we can now focus on actually showing the message to the user.